Hi everyone, it's Eric again. Um, today I'm going to do a, another solitaire review. Today I'm going to do it on this game here. It's called Chrononauts. Um, it's, uh, it's a card game and it's a game about time traveling. Um, it's a, it can be played multiplayer and solitaire, but we're talking only from a solitaire player's perspective, so who cares about friends? He's my friend. Now, um, so so let's, um, let's get, get into the game and see what it's like. Now this is how a game of solitaire chrononauts is set up. Um, you can see they this is the big grid where the, the, the represents a timeline and uh, and it's put it's placed in chronological order from the um, earliest date, not 1865, all the way right down to 1999. Here, this is the basic chrononaut set, and uh, you can actually ha get more timeline. If you buy expansions, and uh, and I picked up eight random characters that I start with uh, for the solitaire game. Um, so basically, I'm trying to get eight of these chrononauts home by satisfying the numbers up here. Here, uh, basically, well, you can skip to the chase and just look at the colors. Um, so basically, the 1933 here in the black number is. Well, this is our regular timeline. History hasn't changed, but I have to change these two histories to get him home, right? But obviously, there's um, and, and it's interlinked, so you get the occasional character. Say, uh, um, these two characters here, you can see that in 1995 needs to be a normal 1995 for him to go home, but a not normal 1995 for him to go home. So, so basically, I have to get one of them home and then revert the history back to the regular one to get this guy home. And there, in parts, lay the difficulty in this solitaire game. And it actually plays quite a lot like a solitaire card game. Um, well, anyway, so that is basically the setup. What what is um, and oh, one last thing is this deck of cards. Okay, and basically, uh, I've gotten rid of all the there's artifact cards and, and mission cards and stuff that you don't need and you only keep the revert history card fate cards and the um, patches I'm going to tell you what these are for later and also we keep the um, the, the uh, you know the, the things that change the timeline averting disasters preventing assassinations um, so so that's how you set up the game of um, chrononauts for solitaire play in the solitaire version of this game, you basically have five cards in your hands and you play it and then you fill it up back to five cards as your cards go down as necessary. So, um, and let's do an example of card play. Let's you play this prevent assassination card. Here, we're going to play this, we can prevent assassinations for our time. Uh, so you can prevent uh, the Archduke Ferdinand's assassination up here, or you can, and it's also marked on this card what you can prevent. Uh, but we're going to prevent John Lennon's murder. So let's do that. So we play that card, and then you basically you play it. You have to play on these linchpins. Um, linchpins are pivotal moments in history uh, that you can change. So uh, let's prevent John Lennon's murder. I say so. John Lennon's now only nearly killed, and so and by changing a linchpin, you would cause ripples changes in time so this tells you what ripple effects it causes and what year it affects so going down here it, change, it changes this um, by by changing John Lennon's um, life and death uh, I prevent uh, basically the challenger doesn't explode and you cause a paradox in time okay and basically you uh, and further down here uh, here's another one see there's a symbol with the John Lennon glasses so you flip that one around as well and so there's a paradox. So if you ever get 13 paradoxes on the board, you lose the game. But in the in the solitaire version, that's rather unlikely. But, but it can happen in the multiplayer version when you just let things out of hand, get out of hand. Now, uh, let's go back to our hand. Let's just play another card here. So we're going to play Guns Band. Um, this is a patch card. So basically, this lets you patch those paradoxes up. So nothing weird happens to our timeline. Um, so you have to play on a specific year. Uh, that has a paradox there, all right? So you can't just play it on a regular 1999. You have to play it on a paradox. So here, we, eh, coincidentally, we just uh, paradoxed 1999 by preventing John Lennon's murder. Um, so here, you can place this card on here, and basically guns were banned in 1999 because of, uh, well, well, as an alternate history. Um, and so, and what that does, what that means is, um, I have 
looking at this particular character, I have satisfied one of his requirements. Now, uh, he comes from, this time trailer comes from uh, an alternative 1999 where guns were banned. So, wow, there you go. And then you look up here, 1868. So, looking up here, so he comes from a world where the timeline's same as ours, Andrew Jackson is in pitch, but I still need to satisfy his 1944 requirement, which is I need to prevent D Day from happening. Okay, so you know, basically, uh, it's this is a ripple card, so I'll go, ah, okay, so we need to change. Uh, we need to prevent uh, the Hindenburg explosion, or you know, uh, and and so uh, oh no, actually, Hitler opens Olympics. We need to change that because there's a H symbol here, and also uh, we need to prevent Pearl Harbor from being bombed. Okay, for that, so I've got a target to get that guy home now, and then, so you work towards that, um, and basically, eventually, you you hope to get most of these guys home and you can imagine sometimes you can um you you have five cards in your hand and you end up having to having when you have five cards and you can't play them then you have to discard a card and what when you come to a, sometimes you you come to a, you have to make a decision to throw away patches and there's only one of each patch so if uh, a patch is uh necessary to get one of your guys home and you have to throw that patch away then then basically it makes it impossible to get one guy home. So sometimes you can you, you won't win, uh, but you know you still try to get as many of them home as you can. Um, the most I've ever got is seven. Uh, so you know there you go. That's basically how the game plays. Well, I'm just going to give you one more example of uh, the, the 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 history and the car changes in this. Um, and here we have the Manhattan Project, and uh, you can. Um, you can play this card, Sabotage to Sabotage the Manhattan Project. And so if you play that, um, you flip that around. All right? And so this is a linchpin, so you know that's going to have ripple effects across time. And here you have, you know that it affects 1945 and 1962. So you flip over the card for 1945. Uh, so here the A-bombs dropped on the Japan, becomes a paradox. And also the Cuban Missile Prices here also gets... Uh, it turns into a paradox it just doesn't happen well it makes sense because if the Manhattan Project didn't go ahead uh, we may not have had the Cuban Missile Crisis but uh, interestingly if you got the um, the patch card for 1962 you initiate World War 3 human civilization is destroyed as the Cuban crisis escalates into nuclear war and I'm, I'm going to use this example because um, <clears throat> this is one of the exceptions in the game where this card doesn't just affect 1962 um, basically if World War 3 occurs in 1962 then uh, none of the timeline after it can be accessible via your cards unless you nullify this card so what you can actually do is play um, nullify World War 3 is you play one of these reverse fate cards where you can flip back the linchpin card back to its regular side then what happens is that restores the timeline so that this patch card gets thrown in the bin and then the, the paradox reverts back to the Cuban Missile Crisis. So that's, uh, that's an example of card play. Hi everyone, um, now that we've been through the game flow, um, let me talk about how I like this game. Um, you, you notice that the mechanics are pretty simple and, and the game itself is a little abstract and, and, uh, and um, and, and not too difficult to play. I mean, there's not many phases like many other games that you, you, you get on the market. Um, um, but there is uh, absolute crazy death in this game. I mean, um, it's actually really difficult to win, uh, but you can just almost make it a lot of the times. And almost all the time comes down to that last card. And surprisingly enough, it's uh, obviously the, the way the cards come into your hand affects uh, how well things go obviously uh, but also a lot of foresight is necessary as well it's an amazing amount of foresight in fact there have been many games where you know I've come down to the last card and I go god damn it why didn't I use that card for that particular move and I would have won and then and, and there's so many times where I could have backtracked and and won the game well, somewhat like a card solitaire game you know and I think um, this is much more thematic and more fun than a regular card solitaire game. So um, yeah, and uh, so so you know, the more I play this game, the 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 
more maze about it. And uh, and what I showed you was the uh, basic version of the game, uh, the the first original one. There's an, there's an expansion that came out in the meantime. Uh, it's called uh, Early American Chrononauts, and, and it's it's a time period before this game. So the first card before was the uh, Lincoln assassination card, which was 1865. And the events in this pack occurs before that, and uh, and 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 also there's, there was an Al Gore um, uh, pack where um, where where the or instead of um, George Bush winning the election, Al Gore wins the election, and so you can play from year 2000 to 2008 onwards. Um, the game, um, all three games, this, the Gore years, and, and and also the original, can be put together into a mega uber. Chrononauts game, and uh, I haven't actually tried that. Um, I played the game with the uh, original and also the uh, the Gore years, and making it a bigger, it made it a little easier because the intricate web links were were, were, were a little bit uh, spread spread bigger, and so um, so you don't have that. Oh my! If I if I help this guy go home to his time period, uh, this guy will be stuck, and you don't get as many of those interlinkages and. And it's actually uh, it's it's amazing how um, you know it's watching like watching those Star Trek episodes where you get you know those conun those, those paradox time conundrum episodes where you know uh, nobody wants to deal with and uh, and this is one of those I mean at the end of some games I'm thinking oh my god what I'm doing with these last ten cards and uh, and um, and. Yeah, it's, uh, it's it's challenging. It's amazing, actually. Um, so you know, in light of that, um, this game's still readily available. Uh, it's still in print. So um, yeah, go ahead and buy it. Um, I didn't I didn't I didn't say, but um, but it's made from Looney Labs. Um, well done, Looney Labs. Bye.